everybody, it's Dean Z speaking to you from the moot courtroom at the University of Michigan Law School. I had a slightly traumatizing uh, 1L oral argument experience in this room 30 some years ago, but I lived through it and here I am today. It's a good lesson in there. Uh, let's talk today about interviews, law school interviews. You may think that's a weird topic because Michigan doesn't do interviews, so what do I know about interviews? But of course, I've been in this business quite a while and, and I've talked to lots of people who do do interviews, so I think I have some useful advice to give. Uh, and also at the end, I'm gonna talk about why Michigan doesn't do interviews and other schools do, and so I will be you know, relating it back to what I actually know about uh, at the end. So first, first question, you get invited to do an interview, should you do it? It's an easy answer. The answer is yes. If you get invited and you don't do it, you will almost certainly not be admitted to that law school unless you have some really compelling reason why you can't do an interview. What about the schools where anybody can interview if they request? I, again, I would say you should do that assuming you don't have some well-grounded fear for thinking that you're going to be really terrible in an interview, then yes, you should take that opportunity. These, these, this is a very straightforward way to show your interest in a school. So take that opportunity if you have it. What's it gonna be like and how should you plan for it? So you, I would say bear in mind, and this is gonna, I'm gonna weave this through all the next five minutes, but there's, you have two missions here. One is to appear to be a normal person and two is to demonstrate your interest in the law school. And there are lots of ways you can do this both explicitly and implicitly. Let's start with the implicit part. First, you wanna be professional. You wanna put a little bit of effort into this undertaking. So, you know, comb your hair, uh, you know, wear normal clothes, don't wear a ratty old t-shirt, don't, you know, you don't have to dress up in a suit and a tie and a, and a tiara and a gown. Uh, you just have to be sort of neat and presentable, nothing over the top. But that, you know, putting the effort in shows, I am taking this seriously, I am interested in you. Likewise, be on time. This is a pretty basic one, but you know, even one or two minutes sends a signal to this person, I think my time is more important than your time. That's, in life, not a signal you ever really want to send, so you should always try to be in time. But in this situation, too, where you are basically saying, please let me into your law school, you don't want to send that signal. So plan your life however you need to do it to make sure you have ample time uh, to get to this uh, Zoom or phone call or whatever it is. I don't think most of them are in person. So uh, just make sure you are on time. Make sure you are in a quiet and private location. So that, that's both for you and for them. Like you don't want lots of background noise because that may make it hard for them to understand you. You don't want to be distracted by anything going on in the next room. You want to, you know, you don't need to have like some fancy background. You can always just blur it if it's on Zoom, but you want to make sure you're in a place where you are going to feel relaxed and ready to talk and, uh, and you are, you know, presenting yourself well from that perspective. You may think these, this is so basic, why is she telling me this? But honestly, I have heard some really hilarious uh, stories over the years about, you know, one guy who did it from, did the interview on the beach. Uh, someone else, there was a story that I don't quite remember that involved like a Hawaiian shirt and a bird. Uh, another one about a toilet that was flushing repeatedly in the background. You just don't, you just don't wanna be remembered for that kind of thing. Okay, now the conversation itself. Questions that are gonna be asked are gonna be straightforward. It's not gonna be anything crazy like uh, you know having to do mathematical formulas on the fly or something. You should be prepared to talk about everything on your resume. You should be prepared to talk about you know the interest section of your resume. If you say you play chess, you should be prepared to talk about chess. Or if you say you speak a language, you should be prepared to speak the language. Maybe talk about the people who wrote your letters of rec, what your relationship is with them. Some of the more tricky, if you will, questions would be telling us about a, an accomplishment you've had, tell us about an obstacle overcome, that sort of thing. Honestly, Google is your friend here. If you Google X law school interview questions, you will get many hits that will enable you to have some ideas about what's gonna be um, asked of you in these interviews. And I highly recommend doing that just so you can get as comfortable as possible. But again, your point here is to convey your interest in the school whenever you can, and also just being relaxed. So if you can just have a good back and forth, 
you are 90% of the way there. It's just a convo. And the people who you are talking to in most cases are people who are good at having conversations. That's why they are doing this task. They're the ones asking the questions because they are good at putting you at your ease for the most part. And honestly, if you are nervous, it is, I find it very winning when people say, I'm actually a little nervous because paradoxically, it shows a lot of confidence to be able to admit you are nervous. So if that's where you are, go ahead and say that and it will, it will you almost always make you feel better because the person will try to put you at your ease and you've gotten it off your chest and you will feel much more honest and authentic. So, okay. Okay, so then the other part of an interview is they will ask you, do you have questions for us? And this is the, the, probably the best place where you can convey your enthusiasm for the school. You know, you've, you'll have to have done some research to come up with some good questions. Honestly, I used to be very confused about this when I was young and doing interviews. I thought if you admitted to having questions, it would suggest you hadn't prepared well enough, but the opposite is actually the case because obviously you can never know any, everything about a school. You haven't gone there. So that's where this resource comes in. So you should definitely um, know enough that you can tee up a couple of, of good questions. One kind of question I think is very successful is when you are saying, you know, what's your opinion about XYZ aspect of the school? People love to give their opinions. Uh, and, and, that, and that shows that you've both done the research and that you are interested in the person you are talking to. And so that is a really strong signal. So don't, you know, stay away from things that are very easily answerable from their website. Uh, don't ask questions about data, like what percentage of your class is da da da, because that's the answer is like two words, and then there you are with silence. So try and ask something that will elicit, you know, several sentences from the person you are talking to. Sometimes people are good at asking sort of imaginative questions. Don't do it if you feel like that's, that's not me, but sometimes I've gotten some fun questions when I'm on the road. The other week, someone asked me if you could meld Michigan with any other law school, what law school would you choose? And I really enjoyed that. It made me think about things in a way I wasn't you know, typically thinking about them. So if you're good at that kind of question, that's another great um, route to take. But you know, just overall, you wanna be as relaxed as you possibly can be. And I understand that that will be challenging, but you know, do your best and just don't, just be prepared for like a normal conversation where your job is to show I'm interested in law school and I'm in particular interested in your law school. One last thing about this uh, is should you write a thank you note? I would say in most cases that is not necessary. Uh, on the other hand, if you are good at writing thank you notes, it certainly would never hurt. Um, don't write a one sentence thank you note. Thank you for the interview. That's no point in doing that. But if you could say a couple sentences about how you enjoyed it and something in particular that you enjoyed, that by all means, there's no reason not to do that, but I also don't think you should feel compelled. Yeah, okay. That's all I have about the questions. Now I wanna talk about the why. Why does Michigan not interview? Uh, and why do these other schools interview? The reason Michigan doesn't interview is I think there are a lot of uh, potential problems with it. There is no social science research to suggest we make better decisions with interviews. And in fact, there's a lot of reason to think we make worse decisions. Humans are full of biases. Who knows what they are? I mean, some of them are, are you know, we obviously, we know that there are uh, gender and racial biases in this world, but there are weird ones too. Like some people love red hair. Some people don't love red hair. Some people, um, I don't know, love tall people. Some people love short people. I don't know, I'm making this up. Who doesn't love a short person, right? Because I'm really short and that's great. But my point is, many of them you may be aware of, even if you are working really hard on your biases though, there are probably some that you are not aware of or that you are just incapable of not reacting to. So you gotta be, you know, wondering about, uh, about that when you are conducting an interview and, and and uh, I, I just don't think it leads to better decisions. And in fact, I think it can be really problematic. So why does any school do it? It's pretty straightforward. It's about gauging your interest at a very basic level. If they invite you to interview and you say no, they know you're not gonna take an offer. They will not waste an offer on you and they get to move on. If they get nothing else from the exercise, they get that. And then the conversation. I mean, I'm sure they think they're getting useful information. They think that they are um, finding out the real you and so forth. But I just, 
I, I believe in science, and I just don't think that's actually what's happening. So, uh, but that's why I say it's really important to think about ways to convey your enthusiasm for the school, because that is really, at the end of the day, the one solid thing that they are trying to ascertain from these interviews. Okay, I think that's all I have to say about interviews. Now, to grammar. I think that we all know that when we're using the articles a and an, we use a before consonants and an before vowels. So you would say an evil interview or a very, very good interview. Uh, what do you do though when you have acronyms? So if you're writing LSAT, you might think you would write a because L is a consonant. But you pronounce L as if it has a vowel in front. It's, it's pronounced E-L-L, -L, right? So the correct way to do that is to say an L-S-A-T as opposed to a L-S-A-T. This has been something that for whatever reason about my psychology has kind of been tormenting me over my, my life. I have often struggled with this, the right way to do this. But I feel very confident in giving you this advice now about how to do it. On the other hand, I also think it is impossible that anybody would ever ding you for that in a personal statement if you did it incorrectly. Uh, so it's a very uh, low stress kind of grammar lesson for us today. But just wanted to share that because I think about it a lot. All right, that's all we have for today. Thank you as always for listening. I've been traveling a lot lately and it's always so gratifying when I meet someone who says, oh, I watched your video on blah, 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 and I found it useful. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, anything you think you'd like us to address, please leave it in the comments below or send an email to law.jd.admissions at umich.edu and put vlog in the subject line. Otherwise, I just wanna say thank you as always to Dustin Johnston, without whom I could not do this. And wherever you go, go blue.